welcome to your August 2018 tarot reading. My name is Nikki. Before we begin, I'd like to say that this is a general reading for all Scorpions, so if you'd like something more personalized just for yourself, you need to contact me at my website. I will have that listed in the description below. It is $15 per tarot reading. Okay, I'd also like to say that if you hear any noise in the background, that's my children. I do have kids. That's just how it is. Hopefully they'll be quiet and good for us and we can continue. Okay, so um, what I'm going to do for you first is I'm going to pull a focal card from the Wisdom of Avalon Oracle deck. This will give you an overview or an overall feeling of what the month of August is um, going to bring for you. And just to save time, I've already shuffled and meditated over the cards. Okay, you have the card Forgiveness. What a wonderful card. So in the month of August, if you have been looking um, to receive forgiveness, uh, I would say you're going to get it. Um, but for most of you, I feel that this is going to be something that you're going to have to uh, practice yourself um, is forgiving others. So um, if you've been holding on to some grudges or some angry feelings about something or somebody, uh, this is the month for you to um, lighten your load, um, unburden yourself, and forgive. And as we forgive others, others also forgive us. So this can go both ways. We can actually be forgiving and actually be forgiven. Okay, for the rest of the reading, I'm going to um, go week by week. There are four weeks in August, so I'll pull four cards. For the first week of August, you have the world in reverse. So normally with the world, this is what it looks like upright. Um, you, it's a feeling of success. It's a feeling of accomplishment and that you are at your apex of where you're going and what you plan on doing. And um, when it's in reverse though, like it was pulled, it's like something is lacking, something's keeping you from that. It's like you're really close to your goals, you're really close to reaching um, that, that top level, um, you know, the apex of whatever it is you're getting to, um, your ideal um, happy place in your mind of how you want things to be but there's something missing there's something keeping it from being complete or completed so in the, in the first week of August you're going to be like you're going to have that feeling that you know you were so close but yet so far away um, or or you know it would be perfect if so keep that in mind no biggie. I mean, nothing's ever quite perfect, is it? For the second week of August, you have the tower in reverse. Now, I actually like this card much better in reverse than I do upright. In its upright position, it's it's about, you know, some life-changing event happening that changes, sorry, that changes your world view. Um, but when it's in its reverse position, it's like you're coming back from that. So think back um, in the past month or in the past year, um, has something happened that really like just turned your world upside down, that changed everything forever? And whatever that was, you are now bouncing back from that. Okay, you're now rising from the ashes like the phoenix. You're much stronger and better for it. And you're going to be, you know, those, your thoughts are going to be leaning towards that um, here in the second week of August. For the third week of August, you have the Seven of Wands. This is all about being defensive and defending your position and your opinions and your beliefs um, and your mindset. This is all about um, guarding your heart and your soul and so on. So there's something there that you know, you may feel is being attacked, whether it's your way of life, um, your, your belief system, your opinions, 
what have you, okay? There's something there that in this third week of August that you feel the need to defend and perhaps even hide away from other people. A lot of the times this card will speak, upon, um, speak about being private, you know, not opening yourself up so much to other people and what other people may um, make opinions on. So uh, you may feel more guarded in the third week. For the last week of August, you have the Hierophant in reverse. Now, this is a card that can mean a lot of different things. Um, normally, the card, the Hierophant card upright, speaks about traditional things, ceremonies, religion, um, authority, uh, morals and morality, and um, your belief system. But when it's in reverse, it still means the same thing, but perhaps something is um, not working out for you. Or perhaps, you know, some of you may go to a church and it just didn't fit in well with you. Some of you may, um, maybe you don't like the preacher that is at that church or it just didn't, he wasn't your kind. But either way, it can mean a lot of different things. Perhaps there's a ceremony that, um, that you don't really want to go to. So keep that in mind. It means traditional things. Or this card could also mean going against tradition, you know. So you may be wanting to do something that's more unconventional in the last week of August. So that is your reading in its entirety, Scorpio. I hope that you found it helpful. If you did, please push that like button and subscribe if you haven't already subscribed. And I will talk to you all again next month. Bye-bye.